Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at one of my favorite Class C's in the entire RV industry. This is the 2021 Integra Coach Odyssey Model 29V. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Odyssey and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. It's the world's only channel giving you the true and biased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at the 2021 Integra Odyssey. Now Andrea, you might not notice, there's not too many differences from the 2020, and I love that, y'all. Listen, if it's not broke, don't try to fix it, you know? <laughs> I love the way they do this motorhome, but before I show everybody, I would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey, Andrea! Hey, everyone! How's it going? It's going good. Matt, I, I thought we did a 29V. Nope, nope, we've done the esteemed 29V that oh. the Kirch nurse and the Boone Scott, both of them were from Texas as well. That was the esteem. And the last time we did an Odyssey was back when we were in Maryland. Well, and I'm excited to see this. Let's begin. Model is 29V, but the actual tip to tip light. Oh, by the way, so sorry. We will link the esteem video down in the description below. And we'll have it at the end of this video. Model is 29V, but the tip to tip length of this motorhome is 32 feet, six inches. This is the Integra Odyssey. It's their entry level Class C, but I absolutely love it because there's not much that's entry level about this. I love, this is what's called a seamless fiberglass front cap, okay? It has the nice big windshield. And listen, there is a seam. Uh, somebody emailed me all mad. There is a seam, it's under here, but it's called a seamless fiberglass front cap because the seams aren't on the edges, which is the vulnerable parts. When the seams are on the edges, that's more likely for it to get a leak. With it being underneath, it won't. Or it could, but it's a lot less likely. This is powered on the E450 chassis. It is the 7.3 liter Godzilla <laughs> engine. Wow. <laughs> 350 horsepower, 468 foot-pounds of torque. Check out these tires, Andrea. They're the Dynapros. LT. Where's that? LT 225-75 R16. That's so funny because I was about to say 225. Yep. And then here is a, a big improvement to 2021. Now they do have cameras integrated on the left side, right side. Previous years it was just reverse. Now you can see it on all three sides. I love that. Because this is an Integra coach, you do have the two year warranty, three year structural. Nice power awning with LED lights. Let's take a look at that when it's all the way out. I also see frameless windows. Yes. Also, one, I love how fast this awning comes out. Some of them comes out so slow. Also, this does have the option for auto leveling, which we order all our 29s and 30 foot Odysseys with auto leveling. But make sure you check that before you buy one elsewhere. And did you say frameless windows? Mm -hmm. Yep. Threw me off there. Wow. Perfect. Nice power awning with LED lights. We do have speakers on the outside. And Matt, you did forget to mention about the Easy Drive. Yes, because of the Tiger Coach, it does have the Easy Drive system, which is a computer balance drive shaft and everything. It just makes it one of the best driving Class C's out there. Insignia TV on the outside, speaker on the outside right there. And storage. we got storage right there. Very nice. Now I do love how this storage is at least supported by the cable here right here's your propane tank and andrea we will have all the tank sizes of this motorhome lengths widths specs everything down in the description below also right here bing for everybody who is watching on television womp womp water heater womp womp did not continue the decal double womp womp listen because this is the odyssey i'm giving that a double womp womp because it's the Odyssey and it's my favorite and they shouldn't do that. <laughs> hey, Cody, continue the decal, brother. <laughs> right there, we got more storage and it is metal on the inside, okay? Coming down the side, we do have a propane quick connect right there, Andrea, in case you wanna have a grill. More storage right here and a little bit more storage right here. 
these class C's, you don't get a ton of exterior storage. And so they, they made pretty good use of it, I must say. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. I love that. Camera up top, real clean and crisp. 7,500 pound hitch. And this motorhome can tow 7,500 pounds. Also, we have a ladder to get up on the one piece fiberglass roof. Andrea, let's go up there and take a look. All right, Matt, hold on because it's wet. I don't really want you climbing up there. Here we go now. All right, up here on the roof, you can see it is wet, so that means it's slippery. It's a nice one piece fiberglass roof. Single AC unit right there, 30 amp. Right up there, we got your King Air digital antenna. And then right there, you can see that it is prepped for solar. Okay, hold on. Here we go now. Last step, Matt. Great. And if you haven't already, make sure you smash that thumbs up button. What do RV salesmen's go take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up. We do have a little bit more storage over here. You can never have enough. Wow. Okay. I'm glad they did that on both sides. Right underneath, you can see that's where they put your black and gray holding tank dump station. Low point drain. Yep, very easy and nice to get to. Right over here is where you fill up your fuel. Outside, we do have an outdoor shower. Womp womp. Uh, black tank flush, this is great. It's gonna help clean your black tank. And here's where you fill up your potable water. Potable, potable. <laughs> great. Finishing up, we got a little bit more storage there. Okay, that's where your 30 amp power cord is. Here, just a tiny bit more storage. And then Andrea, right there is a Onan 4000 generator. Well, Andrea, the outside of this motorhome looks great, but it looks even better on the inside. Let's go take a look. Also new features, the handle for 2021. A lot better door operating system. Cargo carrying capacity, 1,863 pounds. Wow. All right, everyone. Okay, so look at this crazy walk in. That's insane. The slide outs is in. I know. Here's the bathroom. Okay, and look, you can still use the bed with the slide in. That's one of my favorite features. Wow, Matt. Andrea, the slide out is in. I know, that's what I said. Now I am putting the awning in, but while the awning's coming in, the slide outs come out very, very fast. We do have a huge favor to ask everyone. If you could, please leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you love about the Integra Odyssey and let us know three things you don't like about it. We do know Integra's a huge fan of the show and we want to hear your feedback. The more feedback, the more YouTube likes to promote our channel. And then watch this. Oh, sorry. And we thank you guys. And we thank you. Watch the slide outs right here. Just like that. I mean, you don't even need to use the slide out and you have the slide out and you can still use the whole motorhome. I know. Wow. And then that back one's going out. And then I got another question to ask everybody. Andrea. Yes. Me walking through this, everybody knows we have a Integra Odyssey 25R on order. I think maybe we should have gotten the 29V. I'm just saying. I don't know. What say you? Matt, I have no idea. Leave down in the comments below. Let us know if we made a mistake or not. Mistakes happen, you know. Cool. Up front here. Swivel chairs. Swivel seats. That's awesome. Great. Great point, Andrea. Also a new feature for 2021 is the swivel seats. Up front here. Very nice. Listen to that baby roar. Look, we have a nice camera right here. Uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all that good stuff. You have your left blinker right there. Right blinker right there and reverse. Very nice. This gauge will tell you your miles per gallon. So it's getting 9.3 miles per gallon on its first 1,100 miles. Wow. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And Andrea, you want to sit in the co-captain's seat? Yes. Even though it's boosted a little bit? It is, but that's okay. Okay. 
Um, this feels better. I think yeah. I was in one the other day and I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. But yep. this actually feels a little bit better. Yep. I almost wish they had an arm here though. Oh, great point. You know? Yes, ma'am. But yeah, I mean, it feels comfortable and you know, sitting higher up. I mean, it just gives you extra seating space, which is great. I love it. We have a bunk over the cab. Yep, which we're not gonna put down because if you guys can see right here, we're actually recording <laughs> for our vlog right now as well. And you guys do know that Integra's 750 pound limit on this bunk. Yes, nice big bunk. You have this front windshield right there. When you want it down, you just push the button and the button's right here. When you want it down, and it will go down, but I love it up. I love the natural light. Also right here, we do have an insignia television that you can pull and then it does swing out. So it's kind of catty cornered, but not too much over here in the living room area. Is that the right word? I don't know. Does it come out more than that or no? Not really. Okay. So over here in the living room area, that we've optioned this one with the theater seats. You can get the jackknife sofa very nice again you're not looking you're not turning your head sideways to look at the tv but you're 100 not looking straight on at it you got your cup holders here and we do have some storage above the sofas very nice and it looks like we got mini blinds or what are those called yeah yeah okay you know windows open up frameless windows and everything and then over here in the dinette this bit dinette does drop down to make a bed we do have cup holders there nice big window and let's see if there's storage underneath they really got to start making drawers on those so there is storage underneath nice and again no hinges and i hate that because look then it doesn't go back perfect well, maybe that's something they'll change in the future. Maybe they will, hopefully. Just need to make that a little smaller. Perfect. Very nice dinette. Well, Andrea, it's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here is... $120,000. MSRP. Now this one sold, but it sold for $82,995. That is $37,000 off MSRP. But Andrea, it doesn't matter what the sale price is. And always, always remember guys, sale prices always depend on what the option are, right? But it doesn't matter what it is, we can get you a better price than that always by doing one of these four things. Andrea, tell everybody what to do. You can call, you can text, you can email, you can FaceTime. Hey, 301-906-0962. Or go to mattsrvreviews at gmail.com. Uh, send me an email or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact me page below. Andrea, you guys get in contact with me. I will then get you in contact with somebody from my team at General RV to get you the best price in America. Not only that, if you're looking at a motorhome, you'll get another thousand dollars off that with what's called Matt money. It's called Matt money. It literally just started when I got the email the other like five, ten minutes ago. So, um, yeah, call me, text me. Make sure me. you guys call Make, him because you guys will more. be getting the voucher. Yep. Unless you like to pay full price, <laughs> then, you know, don't call me. Tell me what the Matt price. Andrea, let's continue the video. Okay. Here we have the kitchen. Yep. We have a nice cabinet with a shelf. I'm gonna open these two. Oh, very nice. Very nice storage. I love that there's a window here. Uh-huh. Do you have the same blinds? Yep. Tower of power. Tower of power. Oh, we have three drawers. And these are nice drawers. Yep. I like nice. I like the uh, quality of Integra's. Yep. And we have a double sink. They gave you a cutting board. Uh-huh. Very nice. And then look at the countertop area. It's huge. It, it do, you do have a lot of counter space in here. Underneath, I like that this is bigger so that yep. you can have room for a trash can. We've got three drawers over here. Uh-huh. Very nice. They almost nice. feel like they're soft clothes, but they're not. But it almost feels like that. And we got a cabinet up there. Yep. Convection microwave. 
Very nice. Three burner cooktop. Okay. And you got the glass cover. Furion. And you got a Furion oven. Fairy. Ooh. Ooh. Blue. <laughs> okay, so here is the two-way refrigerator. Yep. Runs off both propane and electric. And looks like we have a pantry. Very nice. And more here. Double nice. That's great. Plenty of space. Yes. All right, it's time. Look at the shower, Andrea. I love it. Nice 30 by 36 shower. I love it. If we have guests and I don't want it all exposed, I have a door right here. With the magnet up there. Yeah. Not a magnet, but like a clippy thing. Yeah. Very nice, Andrea. I love this. A 30 by 36 shower. I was thinking, I was like, why didn't we pick this one? I was like, it must have had the small shower. But then I saw in the and I'm like, oh, it's a 30 by 36. Well, I don't know why we didn't pick it. I don't know. It makes me think I, that we made a mistake. Well, you said you didn't want to go bigger than 25, 26 feet. I know, but it's not that much bigger. Look at the bathroom. Yep. Oh, we got to turn the lights on in here. All right. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. And then check out those medicine cabinets. Yeah, this is big. Oh, yeah. Wow. For all your medicines. They have a nice layout here. And then you got two doors over here and electrical outlet. Yep. Very nice. Toilet paper holder looks like it's a good spot. All right. It's now time for the for the for the, for the toilet test. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn, yo. It's a porcelain. Here's what I will say. I mean, it is very close to failing. Like, if failing's a 50, this is at a 51. It literally just needs to be angled another degree and we're fine. Or maybe it's me. Andre, sit down. Sit down. We, we, we need the judges, the judges review. I mean, it is kind of close if I'm like over here, but yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely doable. Yeah, it's a prime pooping position. <laughs> Bing! But I'm not gonna I'm gonna give it like 3.509 stars. And so we automatically round up to four. <laughs> but you know, All right. very, very, very close. Another degree in and it fails, another degree out and it passes. Yeah. You know? I do see an accordion door here on the bedroom. Uh-huh. And then in the bedroom, wow. Look wow, at this. look at double wardrobes. Big Hold on. wardrobe right here. Open that other one for me. Very big wardrobe right there. I like how there's a shelf up there. Yes, ma'am. And look, you got two drawers on the bottom there, Matt. Okay. And that big drawer right there, that's a great size. And then there over here. Some drawers here, yeah. Nice sized drawers. And then this is where a TV would go. You would take this door off and put the TV there, and okay. there is storage. Opening for a fan up there. Yep, yep. And then across, if you want to grab that, Andrea. This is a queen size bed. Yep, queen size bed. Walk oh, around though. Look at these. Very deep cabinets. Good storage. Good storage. I love these lights. Yep, walk around queen though. And I like that there's windows on both sides for cross ventilation. Very nice. Very, very standard though. Yeah. No, I and, and you know what? Nothing's wrong with standard. I, that, that's part of the, the thing that I love about it's the simplicity. But that's it that's the review now before everybody leaves it's now time we're going to give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it andrea what do we do first three things we like about it really i didn't expect you to say that <laughs> okay first thing i'm going to say i absolutely love this motorhome when the slide outs are in you can still access 99 percent of this motorhome when the slide outs are in. So it's great for boondocking, you know, mooch docking, cracker docking, that's at Cracker Barrel. Whatever you wanna do, and if you don't wanna put slide outs out, you don't have to, and this motorhome's still fully functional. Yes. So that's one. I agree. Two. Uh, actually, I do like that both seats do swivel. Okay, not only that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna combo that. That's a huge feature new for 2021. Yes. Also, how it is one smooth flush floor yes. throughout this whole motorhome. There's no, no steps. there's no steps. Yep. Great point. And then and then to triple combo it, um, the triple meal, uh, it's there's no heat ducts in the floor. 
So all great features about that flooring. Absolutely. So that's two. And then three, I'm gonna say I love this kitchen. Class C motorhome with this type of kitchen space is huge. You got the window right there. You got plenty of countertops, plenty of storage. Just everything about it, I, I love. This is a great kitchen. It's just a great layout all in all. Well, Andrea, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we dislike about this motorhome. Bum, bum, bum. Andrea, I'm gonna go second and third because both of mine are outside. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna go first. Um, I really don't like the store. I know we just touched on that, but the storage areas. This is the second time we've been in an Integra and we've said this. They've yep. got to do something about this. Yep. Like this. So one, it's a. So pull that up, right? It would be much Look, better. You see how, uh, yeah, so it's it's, it's a, scraping. Yeah, you have to like pull everything out. Right. And you got to go over here. It would be so much better if they just had a drawer here, mm -hmm. or they put the hinges on here. Yes, because if that's not look like that's not right. Right, right. Practicality. So, so you look, you need mean? to do it with two hands. Right. And if it's not perfectly on there, yeah. Then then you'll feel it in your seat. Exactly. And every time, I don't want to go through that. Neither do know? I. But yeah, let's have practicality for you know being an RV and trying to maximize all of our storage. Hundred percent. That's my dislike. That's one. Two. Follow me, Andrea. The more I see them, the more I dislike them. I absolutely hate these twisty door locks. I know. Because look, I go like that. If I didn't hook it right, it's a pain in the butt. You really got to push in. I hate the twisty locks. I much prefer the slam latches. When you move up to the uh, esteem, you do get the slam latches. But I just don't like that. And then number three, was it over? No, it was over here. Oh, no, it was. Oh, what's that? Ew. Ew. Ew, what is that? Ew, look, there's the path. Oh my gosh, is that a, is that a, don't touch it. Ew. Ew, Matt, oh, no. It's a little guy. Matt, no. Oh. No, it's cute. Is that a snail? Yeah, I've never seen a snail. Look at his path. Poor little guy was getting all cooked up. Oh. I just saved a life. That was so cool with the little shell. Cool, so number three, was this, was this water heater not continuing the decal and a combo with the um, outdoor shower being black. Yes. That outdoor shower should have been white because it's a white motorhome and they should have continued the decal. Small little things like that really, really frustrates me because it's not that much more to continue the right. sticker. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. If you're considering an Integra Odyssey Class C and you want to see what it competes against, stay tuned. In a few seconds, you'll see videos pop up here. Make sure you watch them. They're my personal recommendations against this motorhome. So I think you'll like that. If you guys have any questions about this motorhome, make sure you call me, text me, send me an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That is my personal cell. Or check us out online at mattsrvreviews.com where you can get your official Matt's RV Review stickers. Bing! Also, there's a contact us page. Again, make sure you guys contact me. I will get you in contact with somebody from my team, the General RV, to make sure you get... The best price in America! And $1,000 off that the with, the Matt price. with the Matt money. Matt money, Matt money, Matt money. <laughs> Andrea, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. As you know, Integra is a big fan of ours, so they do read the comments, you guys. Um, other than that, you guys, please reach out to Matt and his team. If you are interested in this, you will be getting some Matt money, and we want to give you the Matt price. Awesome. And Andrea, look, can you see the videos pop up I on the do. screen? Yep. Yeah, make sure you guys click them now. Watch some more videos. And see the competition. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button. And Andrea. Yes. We'll, we'll, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Andrea, we'll see you next time.